Welcome to another episode of Haunted Stories with your host, Scott Latea. Today, the Haunted Stories crew is in Columbia, California, a boomtown in the 1850s, where many men became very wealthy, and many men died trying. Um, I'm a co-founder of Eleventh Hour Paranormal. My wife Kimmy, uh, Chrissy, and Kimmy over there. My second, my second wife Kimmy, uh, my other partner Pete, and uh, Guy is running around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Uh, Chrissy and I have been doing this for going on 11 years, and we do mostly private investigations. Usually, when I'm doing this, I, I do lectures on safety and paranormal ethics and stuff like that. Um, but this weekend, decided to do something a little different. I wanted to show a couple pieces of evidence that we, uh, we got on some private investigations that uh, the homeowners gave us permission to use. So the first thing I want to show is a video of what we got and set, set the scenario up. We just got there, we started setting up the equipment, uh, we set up the camera, and the camera's pointing down the hallway and into, into, you know, into the back of the room. On the right-hand side, there will be a bedroom. And the biggest thing I want to get out of this is, to me, this validates my theory and a couple other people's theory that spirits on the other side, once they pass over, they have knowledge of the future, present, and the past because our team also does cleansing and blessings of homes when we do our residential uh, cases. And in this video, you're going to hear it. Hopefully, it'll come through the speaker that you guys will be able to hear it. That the, the, the spirit is actually saying they're here to get rid of us. And we hadn't even started yet. We hadn't told anybody anything. But the spirit says they're here to get rid of us. So, let's see if you guys can hear it. And see, hopefully you'll be able to see the uh, spirit pass it. It'll, it'll come out of the bedroom and then go back in again. I hear the bed. That's us talking in the back. We're in the whole other room. video right there, to me, like I said, proves that spirits know what's happening before it even happens. They have knowledge, prior knowledge. Um, so the next thing is an EVP. Um, how many of you, when you're doing your investigations, do you put a recorder down and do what we call a long burst, where you just let it run all the way through the investigation? Now, when you do that long, EVP session. Do you keep the recorder with you or you just leave it somewhere and then you walk away from it? Okay, here's the suggestion. When you're doing it, keep it with you. Even if you're on a break and you're not actually doing an uh, uh, investigation report, keep it with you and just have normal conversations. Because the EVP I'm going to show you or uh, listen to here, um, Pete, our member here, who is with um, I do, I teach paranormal classes in Fresno uh, about every three months. And one of our students that just, uh, our prior class just finished, her and Pete were in a back bedroom uh, of a residence we were going. One of the, uh, our class members let her, uh, her house was haunted. So she let us use her house as their investigation. 
and him and uh, one of the students were in the back bedroom, one of the children's bedroom, and no kids were in the house, okay? All the kids are gone because we don't have kids in the investigations. But you'll hear through the conversation a child come through because it's actually answering what him and the uh, female are talking about. So it sounds something that uh, make it around my kids. I get very anxious because like, I always worry about them. So, like, I worry about the worst case scenario ever. Like I'll think of seventeen thousand ways that they're gonna die and try to prevent all seventeen. And this is before we walk out the door. <laughs> so I kind of got that anxiety. Like oh my god, where's my kid at right now? What are my kids doing? That could be one of your tells, like, you know, pay, pay attention to that stuff. That's a good idea, that's it. You're receiving information right now the way you She's want asking to. the girl she wants a toy. Because she's talking about having her anxiety. I'll take care of the kids. I'm willing and ready to receive my gifts, even though, like, we're all key. She's, she's worked, she's having an anxiety, you know, dealing with her kids and everything because she's uh, separated. So she's taking care of what, two or three kids at a time. Yeah, well, she has a couple kids at home and she says that she feels some anxiety sometimes when she has to leave her kids and what may happen. She's talking about that. And um, I, I tell her, well, could be feeling that right now, this moment, because there could be a child around. Sorry. Um, but th that's 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 the reason why I really love this piece of evidence because she's having a feeling. I'm explaining to her what it might be, and as I'm doing that, a child actually does manifest on the report in response. I'll play it again with this guy here. But... But what I'm trying to get out of this is try and have the report with you guys are talking because we have other pieces of evidence. Well, we had one we were talking about taking medications. And we actually had a spirit come through and suggest a type of medication that we should take for our, for our illness. So when you're going to your long burst, try and keep the report with you and see what happens. See if you get anything more exactly. That could be one of your tells. Yeah, pay, pay attention to that stuff. That's an idea that's, that's you're receiving information. Right the whole idea is when you have a conversation between each other, sometimes they want to join in, they want to interact. And when you're just asking point blank questions, there's no emotion. Yeah. Sometimes they feel like they're a guinea pig, you know, because you're sitting like you're throwing questions out of left and right. And, you know, I know if you're doing that to me, you know, it depends on what mood I'm in. I might not want to, you know, intermingle with you at that time. But if you're just sitting back and having a conversation with your group, whoever you're investigating with, if the spirits are there, they're going to want to intermingle with your conversation, and I guarantee you, you're going to get some kind of answers back. So that's all I have for today. So hopefully, I have some advice. And stuff like that.